Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question about teaching, about building an app versus teaching, which I thought I would answer here. And this question came from Christian, and this actually came from the reach.me platform. So if you don't know what this is, I've promoted it here a few times, but you can check out the link here, go and click on the card or whatever, and you can ask me a question, and this will pretty much guarantee you that you'll get a response from me. Now, if the question is short enough and I decide to, I may create a YouTube video out of it, which I'm doing here, and so you'll get more than what you paid for, because I think you can pay for like a minute response or a five minute or a 10 minute something like that response to the question and I, I can respond and you know give you a minute answer real quick via video but if it's a if it's a long enough or if it's a good enough question that I think will benefit everyone then I'll, I'll do it here so check that out check reach.me if you're if you're interested so this Chris, this question comes from Christian and Christian says hi John you're truly inspiring all right, thank you, Christian. Uh, to keep it short, I created this game which took me over a year to finish, and he puts the link here. It's called Space Donkeys, uh, and you use C++ and Box2D only. Uh, by the way, click that link, all right? Let's go, let's, let's do something. Let's do something really cool for Christian, all right? Because, you know, sometimes you just gotta make someone's day. Why don't we all go over there and buy a copy of this app, right? Why don't we buy his app, right? I don't know how much it costs, maybe a couple of bucks or so. Like, why don't we do this? Uh, it, it, just think about how much that would make his day, right? Just, just, I was just thinking about this the other day, and you know, I went out to dinner last night, and I think the bill was like 17 bucks or something for, for a burger, and I, I left a, like a $10 tip, right? And you know, and I, I saw a homeless guy in the street, and I, I gave him a $20 bill. And you know, this is not, not something that I do just all the time, but every once in a while I was thinking like, and this isn't to brag either, it's just, just like, if you can make someone's day, right? If you can just like do something that's gonna super make someone's day, why the hell not do this, right? And why, why not do that every once in a while? So what if we just, I mean, how fucking cool would it be if we made Christian's day and you went over here and you clicked the link below or whatever in the card and you, you we bought the app? And I don't know how many of you will, will buy the app, but if, what if we all did? How cool would that be? How awesome, how, how great of a day would Christian have? I mean, how cool would that be for him? So if you can, you know, I would appreciate you doing it. Uh, you know, I don't have anything to gain from this besides just making someone's day, right? Sometimes that's all that's all there is to it and it's, it's a wonderful feeling and for you and for them so just just as a side note here hey you know if you're if you feel so inclined go do it go check it out and and uh, and help this guy out so let's see what he says here he says I did not succeed financially but I figured out quite well how to make an endless hill climb game my idea was to create a course on Udemy e.g. to make money teaching how I made this game since there is so little to no tutorials on how to make a really complete and nice hill climb racing game would this make sense financially how would you teach it on which platform should I do the coding examples IDE Xcode or VS Visual Studio thanks for your precious time and greetings from Germany Chris I love Germany I love Berlin. Berlin is such an awesome city. You almost always make more money teaching something than doing something, all right? And I want you to let that sink in and think about this because this is really important. If you have entrepreneurial type of aspirations in life and you want to make some money and build a business, it's really important to understand this. And you know, I had to learn this the hard way, sort of. I mean, and I, and I learned this lesson, right? And it's, it's echoed throughout my career and through throughout my life. But I started out creating apps, all right? And my plan was to create apps and make money off of apps. Now I created a couple apps, and one of my apps is doing is still. It didn't do it didn't do bad, but it didn't do great. Okay, it's still making me money. It's still making me like maybe 30, 50 bucks a month. I don't know. It's like I haven't updated in like five years. I, I don't even pay attention, right? But that's still not a lot of money, right? It's, but in creating the app. I didn't make a lot of money, and that wasn't a good plan. But creating a course on Pluralsight on how to create the app, that made me a lot of money, okay, a whole lot of money. In fact, in fact, you know, as a software developer, I did pretty well. You know, I, I had some jobs making six figures, of course, and <clears throat> I did some freelancing and consulting for, you know, a few hundred bucks an hour. When I was doing my courses on Pluralsight, and that, that made me a lot more money, right? So teaching. So what I'm saying here is, is that being a practitioner, 
is valuable and it's good to be a practitioner, right? And you have to have some skill if you're gonna teach something. But teaching is almost always more profitable. So what you wanna do if you wanna make money economically is to not be the artist but teach art classes. You see what I'm saying? I mean, that's probably you know that's a, probably a bad example. But if you understand what I'm saying here, the mentality, you know, being a programmer is great. You'll make more money teaching programming, right? This is this is the thing. Building an app is great, and you can make some money, and it'll be fun, and it's good to develop that skill. Teaching how to build an app is going to make you more money. It's it's arguably more difficult too. Teaching is not an easy skill, right? But if you can do that and you can master that skill. You can, you can do a lot with it, right? That's, I mean, that's essentially what I do here at Simple Programmer is, is I teach, right? And, and that's, that's a good business model, right? So with that said, Christian, let me get into what I've got. To, I think I've got some really good advice for you. I've actually recorded this video twice. I'm feeling really bad about it because I need to get a checklist. I'm gonna do a video on checklists, but I forgot to turn on my audio. I'm actually gonna get a boom mic here pretty soon that's automatically hooked up so I never have to turn on my, my mic, but I forgot to do that and I had such a good answer and it was just, but you know what? I'm doing it again. Doing it again, pumping it up again. I, I'm trying to bring my energy level up because I had so much energy in that first one. All right, so let's let's talk about what my plan is for you, Christian. All right, here's what I would suggest you do. Yes, absolutely create a course on how to build a hill climb game. I think that's great. I think it's a fantastic idea. I don't know which platform. I don't know about Udemy. I haven't had the best success on Udemy myself, but I know a lot of people that have had success on it. If you have an audience, promoting to your audience directly is better. That's why I sell through simple programmer and you could charge a higher price and people are more interested right it's not the mass market game but there is something to be said for a platform like Udemy or Amazon marketplace or you know things like that where you've got you've got to have to lower your price a lot but you're gonna reach more people so I think that's step one is yes, I totally agree. Make the course there's a lot of platforms you can put it on and maybe you can put it on multiple platforms all right Next, check out lynda.com maybe also, or, or Pluralsight if, if you can, although Pluralsight will probably require you to make exclusive content for them, but that's, that's totally fine as well. You probably will do well. Now, I don't know if you will. This is, here's the other piece of this. This is a gamble, right? You, you're not guaranteed to make money just because you make a course on this and just because you make a good course on this. So again, when I tell you guys that you know, the, the teaching is more profitable, it can be more profitable, but it could be zero profitable if no one buys your course and you don't have a way to reach them, that, then you've got a problem, right? So marketing is, is hugely important in that aspect as well. So here's the other thing here. Okay, so now as far as which, what, what should you use, what platform for the coding examples, do it for all of them, right? So instead of saying, should I do this in Xcode or Visual Studio, what if you create multiple versions of the course, right? So this is something if you can leverage your content, if you can leverage something that you've already created, the hard part is that was you figuring out how to create a hill climb game, right? It's not gonna be difficult for you to create the same tutorials and same demonstrations and maybe even reuse some of the videos of the non-code videos for doing it in Objective-C, doing it in Swift, doing it in Java, in, on Android, doing it in Kotlin or Kotlin, I, I gotta figure out the pronunciation. I should know, this is part of my job, I should know this. I think Kotlin, I'm going with Kotlin. All right, but you could do it in multiple languages, maybe even a Python version or you know whatever, or do a web version of it using a JavaScript game engine or however you wanna do this, right? So I, I think this is, is, is extremely valuable to, to do that and then it's more customized, right? And then you can sell that content because the more specific that the solution is to the person, the more relevant it is and the, the more traction that you're likely to get. So you might as well do that. I think this was a good strategy. So, and then there's one other piece that I would give you here, which is to say, that raise the price a little bit in the app store. Now wait till everyone on YouTube gets a chance to buy it. Don't like jack it up to like $99, right? But raise the price in the app store and in your course, you gotta be honest. See, the, the way that you do this is you have to be honest, right? When I tell you guys something, I say buy something, I, I tell you honestly, right? I tell you I'm making money, I'm telling you why I'm doing this, right? If I put links in my book, I tell you why. So be honest about it and be upfront and say, look, here's the thing, making a course like this doesn't make a huge amount of money, right? The I would love you to go and purchase a copy of the game. If you, if you like this course and you wanna support me and you want the game 
to follow along with for this course, go out to the App Store and purchase a copy of, of the game. I would really appreciate it. It would really help me to make more courses like this, okay? And to feed my family. You don't say the feed my family, but no one cares about feeding your family. They care about you making more stuff for them, right? And, they, and, and you just have to be honest and authentic, and that's what's gonna give you the best response, right? If you, if you try to trick them and say, oh, you need to buy this, then it's, it's not gonna work as well. So I would, I would use that strategy, and then that will increase the sales that you make on each one of these courses that you sell. So let's say you do it on Udemy, and Udemy, you know, blow out sales your course all the time for $10, and you don't make much on the commission on that, but if you have the app in the app store and it's five bucks, okay, and then you tell people to buy the, the app, and, and they do, and a certain percentage do, that's gonna increase your overall take, and, and there's, there's nothing wrong with that at all, plus it'll start selling that, right? So I try to think of things that will have multiple purposes. So that's, that's it, that's my idea, and like I said, guys, the, the big lesson here, the reason why I want to do the video on this was not just to give you the strategy on, on potentially you know, marketing a course on, on creating this app, but to say that, like, think about ways that you can take in your life something that you know, some kind of skill that you know, or even learn some kind of skill, and instead of just doing it, right, teach it. If you can teach it, that is usually gonna be more profitable and it's gonna have a higher leverage, right? So I'm only one person writing code. When I was writing code, I could only write code you know, for, for one client or, or build one app. But when I was teaching Pluralsight courses, I could write that code and teach how to write that code and it could be distributed and I could sell it to multiple people. It's like I'm cloning myself or duplicating my time, if that makes sense. So you know, think, for, think about how things scale like that. And that's why teaching is so profitable is because it scales and because there's a lot of people willing to pay more money to learn how to do something so that they can make money, right? This is a, the equivalent here is like, teaching a man to fish, or feeding a man a fish, versus teaching a man to fish, right? If you just do something, right, you're, you're teaching the man to fish, okay, or you're, you're, you're giving the man fish. If you teach him how to do something, right, then you're teaching him how to fish, and, and so that's gonna be more profitable, and he's gonna pay more money to do that. It's a more valuable skill. So there you go. Thank you, Christian, for, for the video, and I hope that a lot of people buy the app uh, go ahead and, you know, like I said, click the card or whatever. Let's make Christian say. I think it'd be pretty awesome to do that for him. You know, I, I don't know. I, I hope that people do buy it, but I, I tried. So, all right. If you like this video, click that subscribe button below. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.